All right, let's move on to our second P, and that is positivity. My definition of positivity is a tendency to dwell on the most hopeful aspects of a situation. The time in my life where I needed positivity the most, uh, I was only married for six months. Uh, my my uh, spouse, her name was Danielle, and she was having a hard time getting out of bed in the morning and her body was hurting. I was in buzz. As, as a matter of fact, I, I just finished first phase, so we had a random weekend off. We're both kind of scratching our heads like, I wonder what's going on. So we drove to Balboa Hospital, and she underwent a lumpectomy, and the results immediately came back. And at the age of 28 years old, Danielle was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer. Completely, completely shattered our world, completely rocked our world. I mean, all of our dreams and hopes of having kids and a family, everything just came crashing in. And it had metastasized to her sternum, to her bones which is why she was having such a hard time like getting up out of bed and moving around. It was in 26 of her lymph nodes from her waist up. And Danielle fought it for four hard long years and passed away the day before Valentine's Day on February 13th of 2008. And at that moment, you guys, I was faced with a fork in the road. I had a decision to make. If I was gonna feel sorry for myself, if I was gonna take the easy way out, if I was gonna ring the bell, if I was gonna quit, or if I was going to persevere, if I was going to remain positive for her and remain uh, the, the anchor that, that she needed. Because let's face it, there's really two types of people in the world today. Those who see the glass as half full and those who see the glass as what? Okay. As half empty. For all the glass half emptiers out there, I think you'll like to refer to yourselves as realists. So for all the realists in the room, I've got good news, and that is that being positive is actually a learned behavior. See, positivity is not just walking through life with rose-colored glasses thinking that everything's cupcakes and rainbows and unicorns all day long. It's certainly not a denial or a refusal to acknowledge the hardships that we're going through. But instead, being positive is a recognition of the hardships that we're going through and still choosing, and that's the key words, choosing to see the silver lining in the midst of our trials.